All right, let's look at the casually explained Twitch streamers thing, okay? Here we go. So, Twitch is the world's largest live streaming platform and owned by Amazon. And while mm -hmm. originally it was almost entirely for gaming, it's now expanded to all sorts of shows and IRL content, with top streamers averaging tens of thousands of viewers and special events and tournaments getting into the hundreds of thousands. That's with so a whole much lot. content, there's pretty much something for everyone, whether you're a gamer, a musician, wow. a hobbyist, or just a member of Twitch staff. Unlike TV, yeah. streaming appeals primarily to a teenage and young adult audience. Sure and does. I've done some streaming myself, I've realized it's basically a place where high school kids go to learn social skills from adults who act like high school kids. With this in mind, if you're... A yeah, and the difference is that both of them are pretending to be adults. They're like, how old are you, man? Oh, I'm 28. Oh, how old are you? Oh, I'm 30. You know, and they're actually both 15. How dictatorships were bad streamer it can be hard to keep everyone well behaved in the chat so you have to set some rules for everyone to follow personally yeah. i think it's important to listen to the interests of the twitch chat so just like in a democracy there's really only one good way to make rules do whatever the fuck you want till jeff bezos stops paying you now that is exactly what it is that is 100 percent. the thing is like i actually I, I think there's like there's a middle ground right where like a streamer should that they should do what their chat wants, but they shouldn't always do what their chat wants. Like, for example, you have to have like your finger on the pulse of what the community is wanting to see, but that doesn't necessarily mean that like your minute to minute actions or hour to hour actions have to be doing what that community wants to see immediately. You know what I'm saying? A big problem streamers have to deal with is their audience developing what are called parasocial relationships, which is when someone from their chat knows so much about them that they think they're close friends, even though to the streamer they're just some random viewer. And this is worsened because unlike traditional celebrities, yeah. Twitch chat can directly message and donate to the streamer in real time. Getting they can, they get the, the interaction. See, like, to me, I feel like also this is another thing that, uh, this is something that I feel like isn't really talked about a lot because it's not really as interesting of a topic and it doesn't really apply to too many people, but parasocial relationships are not a one-way street. There are a lot of streamers who go and they think that, uh, you know, like their, their viewers or their friends and everything like that. And you can make friends through streaming. And I do consider a lot of you guys, like, I, I love you guys, right? I mean, you guys are great. But, like, obviously we don't really know each other that well in many cases. But it's important to, let me give you an example, okay? Uh, I think I can give an example, and this is something whenever I made this mistake. Is that I thought the community people would have my back whenever I did variety games back in, like, 2018, right? Remember that? Those were dark days. And the problem is that what is that fundamentally? It is fundamentally narcissism and indulgence. It is the idea that you are special to other people and you are more special to them than their time or their entertainment. And that's what happens. And obviously, a lot of people left. And it, that was hard for me to come to terms with. And it took a long time where I was jaded about streaming. I was unhappy about it. And it took a lot more time for me to kind of like rebalance and get an equilibrium after that. Because like you, you have people that show up all the time. And then like suddenly after like maybe a year or two years that they're watching, they just suddenly fucking hate you. The same thing happened whenever I started dating uh, Pink Sparkles, Izzy. It's like people turned on me like immediately. It was really, really uncomfortable for that to happen. And I think that's the way anybody would react. But I think the emotional level of the reaction that I felt was through a version of a parasocial relationship where I felt like, oh, my community is going to have my back. It's going to be fine. They're going to be happy for me. And the truth is that a lot of you guys this is this is the this is what i tell people right is that if you are a streamer nobody is there for oh they're just there for me yes some of them are but if you think like that none of them will be because the truth is that I come on here and I want to put a go I want to put on a good show for you guys. I want you guys to laugh. I want you to think. I want you to think about my stream after it's over. That's my goal. That's what I want to do. And I love entertaining people. Uh, I do. So I, I love it so much it burns me the fuck out sometimes. That's why I've got to take breaks. But I love entertaining you guys. Absolutely. So keep that in mind. 
but it is the entertainment and I always try to entertain people and I want to make them happy and I want to hang out with them, you know, and that's what it is. So these parasocial relationships also go the other way with streamers feeling like their community is going to have their back no matter what and they just lose sight of like who they really are and i think that a lot of the like uh, delusion that streamers get sometimes or they get a little bit po more popular you ever had a streamer uh that gets 2,000 viewers and you've got to roll out the red carpet for them every single time that they fucking come in anywhere they've got to talk about how big their stream is all their accomplishments everything like that yeah 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 okay so that's yeah miss like everybody's fucking like making comments of like miss is not like that okay i actually I, I i'll be honest like i think miss is the the least like that of like many many streamers and i i'll give you i'll tell you exactly how i know that it's because he will collab and interact with people that are one one hundredth of his size as a content creator. He will do that. He'll bring people on. And if he thinks they're funny, if he thinks they're good content, he will fucking give them, uh, give them a platform and do that. And like, that's true. Like, that's definitely true. Only if they're hot. No, there are also guys in Ms. Kiff's house. I don't know if you know that. Okay, yeah, look at Crazy Slick. Other people like that. There are guys, yeah. Look, Ari. <laughs> Come on. All right, all right, all right. Let's, you guys see what I'm saying. Yeah, and that's what I'm really saying. Okay, is that um, it's... Why was I, why was I talking about Ms. Kiff and then uh, about the other streams? Oh, yeah, yeah, ego. Ego stuff. Yeah, and, and I think that that ego, again, a lot of it comes down to self-centeredness and, and narcissism, in my opinion, both from streamers and viewers action and making them feel more connected yeah while most people think bro getting bro. validation that way is kind of sad yeah just remember it's the same thing your grandparents do for you so make sure you have some empathy so i can tell you from but the it's your grandma yeah, your grandma is your grandma but i guess people in here say i'm their dad so i don't know what the difference is that's a good point perspective of a streamer by far both the best and worst part of streaming is the chat because they make you feel like you're the hottest girl that. in the club you know there's a chance that someone cool is going to come up and chat with you, but 95% yeah. of your interactions are, Here's $5. How old are you? How tall are you? Are you single? Yeah, yeah, still single. Oh, poggers. <laughs> Relatedly, because so many Twitch viewers... Dude, it's crazy how many guys, like, I remember there's this, like, I've seen this happen. Like, there have been, like, girls that have announced that they had a boyfriend and their viewership has gone down. It's like... What the fuck did you think? Like, you know, uh, Mustang Man 65? Did you think by watching her stream? Like, do, is there like a channel points reward for like uh, five, uh, five million channel points? And, and you, you, you get to be uh, her boyfriend? Like, what the fuck is this? It's so crazy, man. And there's a lot of girls. Wait, Mustang Man. Wait, there's not even, there's not really somebody. Wait, user? No, no shot. No shot. Account created 2014. Oh God. Okay, there is a Mustang Man 65. Holy shit. Okay. Um. Wow. Uh. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're watching you because you're single too. Yeah. Of course. I think that also like, it's weird because like guys, like there are a lot of uh, of girls out there. There are a lot of female girls out there that hide their relationships publicly because they don't want guys to get mad or jealous or get weird with them. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. With the amount of stalking that girls get on Twitch, you you should do that. You should you should fucking do that. Unless you are like really popular and you're dating somebody else that's really popular. But remember what happened to Meg Turney, right? Is like this is a, uh, uh, she was like a, I don't really know like really what she did, right? Because I, I knew her brother. Some fucking dude broke in to their house and the police killed him. And she was dating this other guy. Make turn it, yeah, Gavin and Meg, there it is. Yeah, so th this is the kind of crazy shit that happens. Somebody tried to light Amarath's house on fire. Like, and I'm not talking like, and, and like that is like, I, like, oh yeah, I'm getting bullied online. Like, and I'm not trying to meme that. That's bad. Bullying is fucking bad, and I'm completely against that. But let's not even for a second think that mean comments on the internet are even in the same universe as actually trying to burn down somebody's fucking house. So yeah, I don't I don't blame that I don't blame them at all for that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, users mean viewers and streamers. Well, I don't know about that. And let's see here.
Or is there young weird. males? A big topic of conversation in the gaming community is always female streamers. And frankly, female streamers have it rough on Twitch. They do. Not financially, of course, but in terms of being treated like a human being. This is because of the well-known fact that if you donate all your pocket money for that month to it a female your streamer, they're now legally obligated to be your girlfriend. Yes. I'm not yes. saying it's fair or just, but I am saying that's, I will also that's do the way it for works. $25. Nevertheless, regardless of whether someone is a pro gamer... The, the thing with girls on Twitch is that, like, because it's primarily a male space, and, like, most people that watch Twitch are guys, what happens is that a lot of the people that are watching the content, they want to see a guy or somebody that they can relate to. And guess who it's easier to relate to if you're a guy? Another fucking guy. Like, that's really what it is. So, like, yeah, if you look at the top... Like, if you look at the ASMR section, you're going to see a lot of uh, a, a lot of random fucking people. But if you go and you look at live channels, like, let, let's look at this right here, right? Look at live channels, and, and we'll see, like, how many girls versus how many guys are on Twitch. So, guy, 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 guy. Let's see, where do we get to the first girl? Um, All the way down here. Okay, one girl, two girls. Uh, I might have missed one. Did I miss one? Oh, Iron Mouse isn't a girl? I have no idea. Shy Lily. Okay, so it's all the way down here. You see what I'm saying? Like, this, it's a myth that, like, girls have it a lot easier on Twitch at, like, the highest level. I think that, obviously, like, if you're especially, like, a... There's a lot of guys, and they'll come into girl streams who had 50 viewers, because if you're a girl and you have 50 viewers, there's a really high chance that you're going to be able to... Uh, you're going to be able to get a response from that girl and you're going to be able to have an interaction with that girl so like maybe if you have 50 viewers and you're a girl i would say maybe you'll probably make more money yeah for sure but in terms of like actually really making it a long-term career and like where you're actually like really at the top top level the numbers speak for themselves it is what it is and it's important to keep that in mind and i also say like someone's like oh well girls are boring and so nobody wants to watch them because girls are dumb and I don't have a girlfriend and I fucking hate Stacy she's a fucking bitch if if that's what if that's what you think then explain why all of the girls on YouTube are way more fucking popular like they're, and and they're not making sexual content at all it's because there isn't a large enough female audience that exists on Twitch endemically for the, for there to be enough female creators that's just what happens who are you fucking kidding me look at the girls that do the makeup tutorials they make us on twitch look like losers the, like they're super fucking popular are you kidding me who i didn't even know this was real okay i didn't even know this was a real thing until i went over to izzy's house one day and her and all of her friends that were girls were sitting around watching this one girl fucking blast the shit out of James Charles. And this video, I looked at it, and I had to see it twice. It had 50 million views. And it came out like two days ago. It's massive, man. It's huge. I didn't know it was real. I didn't. I didn't know girls were real until I went over to that house. I, I thought it was just something in games. Or it, was like a, it was like a gender option. I didn't know it was a real thing. Just have a crush on them. At the end of the day, streaming is all about entertainment, and you can watch and support whoever you want. True. But at least be honest with yourself about it. I've seen people be like, oh, yeah, she does like yoga at the beach, and I've donated because she obviously can't afford a proper outfit. And yeah. I've been trying to learn yoga myself, you know? Yeah, okay, buddy. Yeah. I'm a tier three sub to Hassan for his political views. <laughs> okay. And we're back. Oh, come Thanks on. Thanks for pausing the video, Hassan. Now, Come one thing on. Twitch is certainly known for is its drama. This is because 98% of all Twitch viewership is concentrated in the top 50 streamers, so they all know and interact with each other. Yeah. And there's no better place to stay up to date on the latest streamer shenanigans than Reddit's live stream fail. Yeah. Now, despite its name, LSF isn't just a place to post funny live stream blunders. It is, in fact... It's actually not a post to post that at all. Like, every once in a while, you'll see something like that. But I feel like, like LSF goes through... Like, what's really the word for this? It goes through phases and like it'll go through a phase of it, it'll go through a dude hassan i feel like hassan is like he's like donald trump in a way like if you just say donald trump's name there will be a hundred people in chat that feel compelled you know man i really don't like hassan you know i don't know why anybody watches him i sure don't like hassan he really, he's stupid. 
Hassan has the worst opinions. And like, it's the same thing with Donald Trump. Like I, I just say it or whatever. And that's all it fucking takes. That's all it fucking takes, man. And it's, it's kind of funny, but, uh, you know, I, I've been in that position myself too. So I, I know how, uh, how draining it, it can be constantly updated gossip magazine for teenage lore masters to turn the lives of famous streamers into brave of you to assume that they're teenagers very brave and also wrong choose your own adventure k dramas imagine someone in the chat is like uh hey streamer you just made a big mistake Banned. and you're like what what did i do but nice try liar you should have said you're innocent before you were accused of being guilty yep. now your twitter notifications look like this and the top lsf post is six months of scandalous dms the op found in their photoshop folder uh -huh. every other streamer is giving their lengthy criticism of your entire character 15 seconds after asking chat what they thought you did then only once the yeah yeah exactly and, and like the thing is that like in my opinion like lsf goes through like phases where like it'll have it, it's like an anime show where like you have like different arcs and you'll have like a drama arc and then you'll have like a valorant arc or like a new game it's like seasons yeah it's different seasons like for me i'm not really like i look at lsf pretty regularly pretty much every day right just to see kind of what happens see who got banned you know that kind of stuff but like whenever you see a a thread about somebody doing something that's like considered disagreeable uh the first thing that you'll see is people in the comments just absolutely shitting on a person's character, uh, bringing up things that are unrelated to it. And I, I feel like almost every every thread turns into, to some degree, a hate thread. It, it just sucks. And I, I don't know, like, I mean, you're, there's an easy way to deal with this, right? You just ban the people. But, like, I think they don't want to do that because then they would lose a lot of the people that go on their subreddit. And I think that the truth is that mods of subreddits like being mods of big subreddits like they, they they like this and so they're not going to do something that they think could put the their position at risk if they uh if they ban a lot of people for being hostile you know what i mean like that's that's a hundred percent what i think it is because it's just what makes sense how do you define a hate thread uh i think that usually whenever things turn into uh how do you define a hate thread it's impossible for me to say there's there's not a dictionary definition and it is a gray area i mean it absolutely is a gray area but i think that there are a lot of times where a a, a post about a streamer that, that gets upvoted a lot you look at all the comments and these are like just unrelated comments shitting on the streamer for something else that doesn't even have anything to do with the video bashing the person instead of what they did yeah kind of you know it when you read it yeah the entire subreddit is filled with clips destroying your life asmund gold says Perhaps we should wait for more information before we jump to conclusions, which in yeah. a complete turn of events completely stunlocks the entire community who have been starved for such wisdom their entire lives. No, it does not. You know what it fucking does? It says, I cannot believe Asmongold. He's defending him. He says we should wait for more information. We've got the noose right there. We've got the crop. We're gonna we're gonna fucking crucify him right now, and you're telling me that I've got the hammer and nails. We can't do it. Why the fuck not? That's why. That's why they they get mad at me for asking for waiting for more information in a lot of cases because they're ready to burn the witch. I mean that that they're ready right then. So it does happen. Completely stunlocks the entire community who have been starved for such yeah. wisdom their entire lives. This effect lasts for a day or two until destiny absolutely obliterates you for apologizing wrong. You announce you're taking a yep. mental health break from streaming by streaming on your other account, and you begin planning your redemption what is arc. This, what is this about me? Like, why has this got to be all about me? Like, this is a whole video that's just made about me. Is this really, is this really where we're at? Is this where we, uh, is this where we exist now? I I'm literally like, holy shit, man. For Dr. K. Now, one of the reasons why I'm a terrible streamer is because I'm never up to date with the latest meta, which is whatever the going trend on the website is that gets the most views. Like when Among Us became popular, I was like, eh, probably just going to be a fad like Bean Race. Then a couple yeah. months later, I was like, well, I can't learn it now. It's just the end of the life cycle. And then a month after that, I was like, okay, fine, I'll buy it. And then right when I buy it, everyone quits and starts goes playing to Rust. Rust. Yeah. And then when I spent three months going through this. Bro, that shit was so fun, man. Like, playing Rust with all the streamers was so, it was so fucking fun, man.
same process right when I decide to buy it everyone just quits to play GDA and so I was like okay the next trend that comes around I'm completely ignoring it I'm not wasting any more money yeah so of course what was the next trend I missed out on fucking GameStop then right when I'm ordering my <laughs> inflatables for the hot tub meta guess what the new trend is now leaving Twitch to stream on YouTube yeah it was right true. in front of me the whole time but now the tables have turned once everyone's a YouTuber guess who's going to have all the power to decide the meta then that's right expressvpn the vpn that allows you to reroute your connection to over 90 countries throughout the world hey you guys that don't know how to play lost ark on the other countries in the netherlands pay attention click and if you're yeah, like pay me attention and don't want people hacking into or accessing your twitter dms not because there's anything scandalous in there but because you wish there was uh expressvpn allows you to funnel your data through an encrypted connection so that no one's able to access your email password or any of your juicy data for all your online accounts which can be much more vulnerable on an unencrypted connection so i like to use this when i'm in a cafe wow. or on public wi-fi amazing uh, personally i've had expressvpn long enough i've tried it for just about everything and my favorite use case is still accessing location specific content i otherwise wouldn't have been able to watch that's so like weird they have that connection to the uk to watch south park on netflix or you can also yeah. switch to the U.S. to watch Saturday Night Live on YouTube. Uh, I also like using it to keep anything. Out I've of my never had to deal with that before, but it's a critical it's mistake of many streamers. So if you'd like to find out how you can get three months for free, head over to expressvpn.com forward slash casually explained. There's a lot of VPN services nowadays, man. I see so fucking many of them. Yeah, this is a good video. I liked it. Uh, I think it's pretty accurate, though. I mean, in in the most part, especially uh, where's the. Uh, where, where's the one about me? Uh, I'm trying to see. Where, where's where's the good part of the video? Uh, oh, there it is. There's the good part of the video right there. Yeah, so true. We just torrent, to be honest? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I have no fucking idea. Why people only talk about parasocial relationships and not how to be a healthy viewer on Twitch? Uh, because it's easier and it's more attractive to complain and criticize things versus actually uh, talking about them in a productive manner. That's just generally what happens.